In this video, you're going to learn how to read the micrometer screw gauge. By now, you should know that the precision of the micrometer screw gauge is 0.01 mm. So it will be useful to know that it's two decimal places, but it's in mm. Now let's take a look at the structure of the micrometer. Over here, this is the main scale. And the precision for the main scale, okay, if you look here, this is 0. 1 mm, 2 mm, 3, 4, 5, and so on. But you see the marking at the bottom here? This is 0.5 of mm. So if here is 1, here will be 1.5, 2, 2.5, so on and so forth. So the smallest division for the main scale is 0 0.5 mm. And that's the precision of the main scale. But what makes it more precise is because of this timber scale that you have here. And if you look at the smallest division, each one is 0 0.01 mm. It's precisely this timber scale that makes the micrometer screw gauge has, having a precision of 0 0.01. Let's start with the first example on the left here. So as mentioned, this is the zero of the main scale. So then here, because you can see that you can see the marking there will be 1. Over here, this is not 1 mm, this is actually 0 0.5 mm. So you read the main scale, the last main scale, just before the vernier scale starts. Okay, so the main scale in this case will be 1.0 mm. Next, let's talk about the timber scale here. And we look at, this is the tatum line, the horizontal line, and the marking on the timber scale that's in line with the horizontal line here which is this one and what's the reading here because it's 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so this will be 14 now so once again do you write 14 1.4 or 0 0.14 now remember the position of the micrometer is two decimal place 0 0.01 mm so the two decimal place will kind of remind you it should be 0 0.14 mm so if you the actual reading will be 1.14 mm okay let's go to the next one so this is 0 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm so main scale will be 3.0 mm next let's talk about the timber scale over here this is the marking that is in line with the datum line here the horizontal line so this is 25 26 27 28 so it will be 0 0.28 two decimal place so the final reading of the thing that you're measuring will be 3.28 mm next example here let's start with the main scale so it's until 5 mm 6 but because you can see the half here so that will be 6.5 so the main scale will be 6.5 mm and then for the timber scale, this is the reading. So it's 20, 21, 22. So I'll put here 0 0.22 mm. So the final reading will be 6.72 mm. The next one here, okay. Now the main scale, now you might be wondering, do I need to read the 6 or do I use 5.5? .5? Now you have to understand that the timber scale one round of the timber scale will increase the main scale by 0 0.5 mm okay so because you can almost you see it, the timber scale is turned this way and now the zero actually goes down so that means to say this will be 6.0 and this 0 1 2 3 that means it's just slightly over 6 mm so this is the third division and the timber scale will be because it's two decimal place I must remind myself so it's 0 0.03 mm not 0 0.3 so that gives a final reading of 6.03 mm next example so the main scale 1 mm 2 mm 3 3.5 because I can see the half here 3.5 mm and the timber scale will be in this marking here 15 16 17 18 19 okay 
don't be careless and think that this is 21 because the 21 is over here 22 okay you look at the other values to help you so 19 so two decimal place so 0 0.19 mm and that gives you a final reading of 3.69 mm so next example here main scale you read okay until the last mean scale which is for 4.5 so the mean scale will be 4.5 mm and the timber scale you look at this marking here 40 41 42 43 so it's 0 0.43 nm and that gives a final reading of 4.93 mm next example main scale I hope by now you are more familiar with it so this is 10 mm 11 mm and don't forget the marking here that will be 11.5 mm and for the timber scale this is the one that's in line not 21 but rather is 19 so 0 0.19 mm so it gives a final reading of 11.69 mm next one let's practice again main scale you read the main scale until the last one that you see in this case 6 and 7 7.0 mm and the timber scale here will be the line here the marking here which is 39 so it's 0 0.39 mm and that will give a final reading of 7.39 mm for this example, it's a bit tricky because you might be wondering do I read the main scale here which is a 7 or do I read the main scale here which is 6.5 Now it all depends on the timber scale You can see that the zero marking of the timber scale is here and you rotate the timber scale in such a way so this zero will come down So right now, it's basically 45, 46, 47, 48 so 48, that means it's not one full round yet, short of two division. So it will not be the main scale 7. So that means to say the main scale will be 6.5 mm. And then now the timber scale will be the 48 division. So it's 0 0.48 mm. So that makes the final reading 6.98 mm. So do you kind of understand? If you rotate a bit more, two more division it will goes to 7.00 mm so next one once again the main scale should i be reading this which is a 1 2 3 4 4 mm or 3.5 mm so once again look at the timber scale this timber scale okay the zero is here it will be rotating down this way so now this division is actually 49 49 so that means to say I won't be reading is 4 is actually 3.5 mm plus the timber scale which is 0 0.49 mm so the final reading will be 3.99 mm so can you see it's 0 0.01 shot to becomes 4.00 mm last two example here the main scale now so this zero of the timber scale is in line with the datum line here so that means to say that this main reading will be here 3 mm and for the timber scale is exactly 0 0.00 mm so the actual reading of the thing that you're measuring is actually 3.00 mm take note even though it's 00, 0 you still have to write the two zeros here because that is the precision of the micrometer and the last example here the main scale will be six seven eight now should i be reading here and we have to take a, a look at the timber scale since the zero is in line with the datum line here that means to say this thing is exactly this is eight eight point five this thing is exactly eight point five mm the timber scale will be zero point zero zero mm that makes the thing to be 8.50 mm exactly so i hope with this example you will understand how to read the micrometer